Hey everyone, here's the Stanton C304. Let's see what it can do.
there you go. Uh, that's my very ill-timed demonstration of the Stanton C304. Um, it's a pretty good setup. Uh, you've got a range of effects here, um, combining them with Echo. You can run three up to three effects at a time. Um, you can pan from left to right. You can put breaks in the uh, in the beat uh, with the correct timing using the trans button here. Flanger, phaser, filter, echo, as I said. Set your BPM just by doing that, or it does have an auto mode, but me personally, I like to just set it as I go. As you heard, each of the tracks had a different tempo. And within each BPM, you can set your effects to synchronize to one for every bar, right down to four for every bar. Uh, or four for every one beat, sorry. Uh, there has a little sequence of function here which I didn't show you, but basically you can set up a series of samples which are in your bottom keys here. Simply set by one touch press. Just touch it when you want the sample to start and it'll simply restart your recording at exactly where you press that. So it's not a true sample, but it does mark points in your composition. Anyway, getting back to the sequencer, uh, it'll arrange those points in an order so that in theory you could set up a whole performance based on the four samples that you've done here and just, I don't know, just play with the uh, effects or, or the speed controller or whatever you want to do while that sequence is playing. Um, so yeah, you can raise your tempo up down and using the key lock you can bring the pitch with that if you want to or as I've just done there, turn the key lock off and that'll ensure that your pitch stays the same no matter how slow you go. You can go down to virtually zero BPM pretty much um, and still keep the same pitch so everything else stays in tune if you're running other equipment with it.